Today I fucked up by doing a strip dance for my wife. With my mother-in-law watching. Happened last night. My wife and I have a really playful and sarcastic relationship, and we love to mess with each other in just about any situation. My wife had been on FaceTime with her mom for a while, and so I decided to try to get her to crack by doing a stupid strip dance. I was on the other side of the camera, so in my mind only my wife could see the true glory. It definitely got NSFW pretty quick and then I heard my mother-in-law say OMG put your clothes on. Wife was sitting next to a window, turned out my reflection was positioned perfectly so my mother-in-law saw the whole thing. Of course I didn't notice the reflection and my wife wasn't paying attention to her face cam to warn me. Thank god my mother-in-law is cool cause the next thing she said was well, I guess you guys have some business to take care of. Have a good night, love you both. Too long didn't read, my mill saw my ass last night. At least it wasn't the father. Lol my father-in-law is an absolute champ he would have started stripping on the other end himself. Should have whipped out the helicopter. LMFAO I might have had she not spoke up. My mother-in-law would have cheered me on, and that's not a good thing, it's disturbing. A few examples. After having been married for about 5 years, still without children, intentionally, she told me, you need to start shooting a couple live rounds up in there, I need a grand baby. It was only a couple of months ago, my wife had a pair of cut-off jean shorts sitting on a chair. My mother-in-law picked them up and said to my wife, you think these could get any shorter? I chimed in sarcastically, I keep cutting a one quarter of an inch off of them every chance I get. My mother-in-law then brought them over to me and laid them out on the table. She then took her finger and drew it around the crotch of the shorts and said, that's what you should be cutting out and give an elbow and a double eyebrow nod. The fuck? At least she's your mill it's not the best tactic to strip tease the first time you meet the folks for dinner. Everyone knows the quickest way to a woman's heart is through their parents, sleep with them and you're in. So your mill saw your ass, I bet you're in the will now. Enjoy your life. Reminder to do a follow-up post that says, I'm rich bitch and link this post. You can thank me later. I bet you're in the will now. This caught me off guard LMFAO. Today I fucked up by letting my boyfriend finger me. Edit, update here. It was supposed to be romantic. It was our last night together before he left on a plane, not to see me for months, and we were about to get groovy. We were under the stars, kissing and holding each other and spending a long time on the perfect foreplay. It was fucking amazing. We were ready to fuck like animals and to make sweet love all at once. We were naked and touching each other to build up suspense, and he began to finger me hard, leaving me moaning, but with an odd sensation as well. There's something inside you, he said. There's nothing, don't stop, I replied, uneasily. No, there's something inside you. It feels plastic. Horror chills my veins. It had been about two weeks since my period. But I knew then that I had left my menstrual cup, basically a plastic cup for blood slash period gunk not to be left in longer than 12 hours, in for the past 14 days. Dot. Idiotically, I asked him to help me remove it so we could continue. Mother of God. It smelled like an eviscerated decomposing body mixed with rotting broccoli, sewage, and rotting eggs all in one. And the smell did not go away. I threw out the cup and its contents, but the stench of 14 day old rotting blood and uterine gunk is not one that fades easily. I could tell my squeamish boyfriend was trying extremely hard not to lose his shit and vomit. But it only got worse from there. The stench would not leave, and it was coming from my vagina. To try and bring the mood back, I went to the bathroom to try and freshen up. He joined me, perhaps to make me feel less disgusting. Bad idea. With a feeling like an impending queef but somehow thicker, my vagina suddenly emptied a massive blob of this filth and it splattered a surprisingly large amount of brown rotted uterine filth all over my poor boyfriend's leg. He practically ran home. I probably don't need to say this, but you might want to see a doctor about that. Op, have you considered writing romance novels? You should be happy he fingered you. How much longer would you have gone with it in there? Carrot shivers. 
Today I fucked up by clicking a link. One girl one nasty cup. Today I fucked up by making fun of my boss's abortion. I, M26, share an office with my boss. I started a few months ago, and it was probably my second or third day when she seemed very ill and miserable, putting her head down on her desk etc. I asked her what was wrong and she said she was having really bad cramps. They must have been really bad, because she said she was going home early. I consider myself very sympathetic to the female condition, so naturally, I assumed she was just having a rough period. I said, well, hey, at least you're not pregnant. I laughed at my own comment and patted myself on the back for being such a relatable funny confidant for women. Several months later she told me that her cramps were so severe that day because she had gotten an abortion that morning. Too long didn't read, told my boss at least you're not pregnant thinking she was on her period when she had actually just had an abortion that morning. I mean, it was true. At least she wasn't pregnant. But I was still mortified and have removed this comment from my repertoire as I have said it to probably every woman, who has ever told me they were having cramps. Edit, alright folks time to head out. Getting a little rowdy in here. This did actually happen but the way I wrote the post was a joke. Please read my comments for clarification, atonement, and acknowledgement of wrongdoing. Go easy on the actual hatefulness slash misogyny. Edit 2, now that I am being tried before the mob I regret my tone and embellishment. I have not actually said this to every woman I meet. Just wanted to make the story funnier. We are similar in age and good friends and I apologized incessantly. She said in hindsight it was the funniest thing. I am lucky I learned this lesson with someone understanding and I will never do anything ever again. Oof. Well, at least you're not pregnant. Jesus, you blindly walked into that one. Jesus wasn't aborted. I tell myself the exact same thing every time I get cramps. If it makes you feel any better, I had a friend that was pregnant and her boobs were enormous. A few weeks later she said she was going to miss her big boobs. I said don't worry they're going to be massive while you're breastfeeding then she looked confused and said didn't you hear. I had a miscarriage I wanted to crawl away and die. Did you all forget what sub you are in? This isn't called today I said something hilarious. Dude fucked up. He knows he fucked up and is owning it. He posted it here for your amusement. And everyone is shitting in his cereal. I had typed a comment exactly like this, except I called it a slash today I didn't do anything wrong, but I didn't know if this was going to be a hostile audience. Oh shit. Foot in mouth moment.